TLO, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch. We are not live, but you can leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK, man. Right behind me, you see it? Little warning screen. Um, Probably will need it. <laughs> Don't forget, man, we do got Twitch.com, man. That's where you can catch any of the live streams. Usernames at the bottom of the screen. And we also got Patreon, where we post five to seven times a week. Or seven to ten times, my bad. Premier League highlights, UK movies, UK TV shows, man. This is Charlie Veach. I only think I've ever reacted to one other video. Maybe none. This might be my first time watching. But I am subbed. <gasps> the title is Crutchy Makes Man Cry and Then Attacks Me. I, I had to watch this. This is this is this is sent to me. This is DM me. This has been highly requested, especially since we've been watching the Billy Moore stuff out there with uh Turbo. Um so we gotta watch this, man. Talk to me, man. Charlie, if you're watching this, if you want me to take it down and you don't want me reacting to yourself, just leave a comment. I'll take it down. We ain't got to do all that extra stuff, man. Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976. Allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational, or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. No copyright infringement intended. All rights belong to their respective owners. And y'all gotta remember, the main reason I'm watching this is because there's two, there's three sides to every story. You know what I'm saying? And in this case, there's Turbo's char side, there's Charlie's side, and then there's the truth. So I got, I got to get as many sides as possible. We heard Turbo's side, but I, 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 I just have a feeling that there's more to the story. So this is what leads me here. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. We're outside Printworks, where apparently in a few days they're going to open up the largest rooftop LED display outside of Las Vegas. But yeah, that's not what we're interested in today. Like every day, Pinky, we're going to try and take over the world. Okay, brain. But we'll hold it steady. We got some. Uh, Hey, morning, guys. Any drama today? No drama. Oh, no worries. Thanks, mate. Tip. So we go up. We'll go up this way then. Now that we're here. Hello. How are you? Were the police bothering you for any reason? Yeah. Yeah. He was actually all right. Was he okay? Yeah. Anyway, I hope your situation improves. Anyway, thanks, mate. Seems like a good guy so thus far. Know what I'm saying? I don't see the. Because uh, sometimes I think by giving people lay down on the street money, you're perpetuating their life on the street. It's complicated. I, I wouldn't agree with that. I wouldn't agree with that. You know, some people are just really down bad on their luck. You know what I'm saying? And and you know. And it's, it's a shame, like I always say about some homeless people and some other homeless people, there's there's the kind that are down bad, they've been down bad, they're not trying to change, and everything that comes towards them is going to SHIT. But there's other ones who are really just in a bad situation that could really use a little bit of change. Some of them, that change goes to sleeping in one of these little places for the night that they offer around the city, you know, cleaning their clothes, getting a little bit of food to eat, you know what I'm saying? Some situations, especially with the living crisis in the, in the UK and around the world, is just crazy. Okay, so, we're trying a fixed ISO, so watch this, when I shut my tight little aperture right down to a tiny little sphincter, watch this. Oh! Now let me loosen my uh, rear end, here we go. Oh! Oh that's, a, oh, that's a bit too bright now. But yeah, fixed ISO. We're just by a shoot hill bus station, there's a new tab. Whatever camera he's using is great. It's good. It's good quality. Tattoo parlor, a tattoo and piercing parlor, and I like their uh, chairs. They've got some pretty nice uh, British Airways business class recliners in there. Now, do I want a tattoo or a piercing? No. I like my naked body.
don't know about you, viewer, but when I was a kid, models for any advert used to be attractive. Because who wants to look at normal looking people? All right, viewers, take a break. <laughs> Charlie, honey, you're cutting up. Why are you. Hey, Oh, man. Hey, I'll be thinking the same stuff, though. Be there. Take a deep breath. Think about your life and just people watch for 10 seconds. Four, three, two, one. I know nothing about small infantile Japanese dolls, but what I do know is that you should probably check the hard drive of men that come here and buy out of a vending machine small cutesy cutesy infantile Japanese dolls. You know what I mean? Mm, you're not wrong. Unless there's something we don't know about the dolls, like they're collectible items and they're worth some X amount of dollars on this website and that website and the resale value is high, it's a little bit, uh, you're not wrong. Of course you can, look at them. Bro said check the hard drive, I'm asleep. <laughs> I just clocked what he said in my head, because he said check the hard drive, I'm thinking he mean like check they... Check their brains and stuff now. Check their PCs and what's going on. I got it. Mm. One That's sec. Funny. So, um, a man with impeccable taste asking me for a selfie threw me off my uh, rant. But no, no. But basically, what does red lights mean when they're not flashing the blue lights? What does only red lights mean? Right. Let me slap on my beautiful smile and let's take a photo. So, uh, those are just hazards, right? <clears throat> I know it's not the body shop, but Anita Roddick's The Body Shop has uh, gone bust. And uh, it's Lush that has kind of picked up the pieces, but I want to buy my smelly soaps without being told that definitions mean nothing in society. And uh, I have to laugh once again at the Socialist Workers' Party banner that said, Is biology the root of women's oppression? <laughs> How'd you like this, guys? Moderate rain with sunshine at the same time. Where's the rainbow? Don't know about the rainbow, but there's someone using a cross-country skiing machine, a kind of pedal bike thing near the top there. <laughs> Let's go for a walk, mate. Much more fun. Now that is cool in the shot with the... This is like Florida. Y'all got, y'all experience in Florida rather. Pure sunshine with rain is crazy. Umbrellas, the sun, and with enough luck, I uh, won't have to wait too long until the two police officers come into the shot, thus completing the perfect Scorsese. Spielberg Hans Zimmer production on the Veach channel here. Look, I'm gonna win an Oscar for this shot. Even with the raindrops on my lens. It doesn't look like they're chasing drama though. Were they eating coffee and donuts? What a crazy sight. <laughs> Insomnia cookie, we used to have these in Chicago. Much better than crumble. I, yeah, and I don't have a problem with crumble cookie, I honestly. Dude dressed nice. He got that on, don't he? Yeah. Yeah, we're, so we're just saying that we do know. This are uh, just handsome normal guys hanging out. We're, we're genuinely we're on our way to work, we're bartenders, yeah. we run bars and stuff. You run bars? Uh, yeah. I thought you were musicians. Uh, oh god, no, you. we deal with musicians every fucking day. <laughs> every day. You've only seen the shot 17. Not even gonna lie, that was a W fit. 15 times in the last month. All right, latest crops arrived at uh, Cracky Gardens. Let's see, are they all gonna get their tickets checked? Yes, they are. <laughs> oh no, no, it's just a vlog. Don't worry about it. No, no, it's just a video. Just a video. Carry on. It's fine. Don't worry, uh, female. It's not about you. I wasn't wanting to film you. Surprise, surprise. I love that. It's that kind of narcissistic kind of like obsession. Oh my god, you got a camera! I need to hide my face. I was just thinking that same. I, I just said that like in a previous video. Like a lot of people, like when you filming in public and you and the camera's there, they like, oh, don't film me. Bro, do you think I'm out here filming you? First and foremost, who are you? <laughs> no one knows you. If you get on this camera, you'll be a little bit more known, but like. It, it is a narcissistic attitude. Just if you don't want to be seen, cover your face. It's as simple as that. I don't. I don't have the. Do, do, uh, I don't have the. I don't have to keep you out the lens in public. You just stay out the lens in public. Simple as that. Oh 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 oh. oh. 
Now that is some nice daylight. Just the, just the scenes, that's all. Just videoing the scenes. There you go. <laughs> some people wondering, what's he videoing? Uh, that. Well, that's the big banner we've got over Cracky Gardens. Oh, the king of the... Oh, they got a... They got a... Uh, video together. I mean, they got a banner together? Oh, they're both sponsored by Beats. Okay, got it. The king and the viking. That's crazy. Erling Haaland and LeBron James. LeBron's the king, so we can associate good things with the king. Regal, blue-blooded, above it all, in charge. And Haaland is a, a Viking, and when I think of Vikings, I think of three things. Rape, pillaging, and insecure uh, Western men who uh, want to be a bit more manly. I'm a Viking! Lady coming up here looks like Cobra Commander. Bloody hell. This is our second uh, slow-moving police person. Those two female cops coming up center screen. We'll so it just seems like bro just goes around and films, like... Films outside, peop does a little people watching, comments, the first thing that comes to his mind, which is, which is it's entertaining. Uh, he's an entertaining guy. Huh? See uh, what the score is here. That's I'm just cool. enjoying the great visibility. After the rain, when it clears up, it gets all the smog and shit particles, <laughs> like in a fart, gets them all out of the air. And... Uh, There you go. By lady bad boys, what you want? It's that show, Cops. Bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when the... And he more so focuses on police, too, so... Two five foot two women come for you. <laughs> um, <laughs> you can do like Taylor Swift and shake it off, shake it off, or you can do like Usain Bolt and run. What am I talking about? Look at these guys, look at this. Look at that, nice fedora. Good on them. To be fair, I have seen video footage over the last few years of female British police who are unarmed. They don't have any weapons, any arms. <laughs> They're absolutely armless, no. But uh, I have seen videos of them wrestling and holding on like a bucking bronco, like a rodeo rider against suspects. Hey, how are you? Are you okay? Uh, right. Oh, good, mate. So against suspects who are much... Uh, bigger and uh, I've seen some big acts of bravery from very small women so I low-key have too there you go mm -hmm. Lisa oh how the sunshine hides the dangerous nature of the most dangerous McDonald's in the Western Hemisphere right, here's an interesting one you got blood donor vehicle to my left you've got the Iraqi consulate to my right there you go and you've got lorry driver taking a delivery from the back of the thing holding up vehicles behind them who have started beeping you know what I know about people humans and they're all the same is that every a lot of people are on the edge of their dignity the edge of what they I'm not gonna lie this would piss me off if I was driving and like a car just stopped in the middle of the street I'm blue Something's got to give. You got to go, you got to spin the block. You can't do this. You can take, and you're a little beepy beepy saying, can I please get past, sir? Please, sir, can I have one more bowl of getting past? They're going to be like, right. I'm going to be here 10 years now because you've beeped me. See, me, that's why, I like, I, I'm... I feel like the UK is a little bit different than America. Like, in the UK, I would get out. Yo. Pull to the side, pull in front of the, why wouldn't you pull in front of the truck though? And leave like just a little piece of, you know, something for the rest of us. Ah, <sighs> predictable. See the van on the left? Yeah, they're not even loading it. They're just uh, holding up the now six cars just because, because why not? Beepy, beepy. I let the cars pass. No. Why not? This is my lorry going in that loading, mate. I need him to move back so I can let reverse in. You know what? Now that you've explained it, it makes perfect yeah, yeah. sense. Yeah, go on. That's reasonable. Reason, like, no. If not, he's going to go round and round. Uh, film of the month. Film 4 and BFI present. Oh, it's perfect. Mate, I need him. I let the cars pass. No. Why not? This is my lorry going in that loading, mate. I need him to move back so I can let reverse in. You know what? Now that you've... That does make sense. Yeah, why doesn't he move back? 
I felt like it was this guy's fault. Like, move back a little bit or move forward. You're in the center. Like, you like get out the way. Explained it makes perfect sense. Yeah, go on. That's reasonable. Though. No. Uh, film of the month. Film four and BFI present. Oh, it's on Mubi. What is Mubi? Um, like Tubi? Well, it's got. In the Financial Times, that's a proper. Gives it five stars. Anyways, BAFTA, BAFTA nominated. I just like the title because it's um. How to have expect uh, exceptional and visceral and sensory experience. Sounds like a pervert. A stunning performance from Mia McKenna. I thought almost said it said Mia Khalifa. I was like, oh. Vanity Fair, Financial Times, The Times. I don't believe them though. <clears throat> These are not the people that I go to for movie <laughs> reviews. Yeah. Okay. If I'm watching Prime Video and it says Oscar nominee or Oscar winner, then I'm watching it. <laughs> Deep in the Royal Exchange. There's a, a theater within a theater to my left, and straight ahead I see two police officers. What are they doing in here? It's getting more and more like Berlin in the 1930s. Like, what next? <laughs> I have a police officer in my household. Although, Ossifer, um, I was walking around Market Street. There's a lot of people, narcotics enthusiasts and distributors, openly distributing their narcotics. And uh, you're like, where's the police at? Like, you know. They're like, oh no, everyone's really safe. Yes, when they're not being cajoled, but uh, the mark of a man is uh, impulse control. And unfortunately, a lot of the people on the street, the smallest little humiliation, and they'll literally get themselves a 20 year prison sentence. So, uh, yeah. So that's a. You're right. You're right. You're right. That's what happens when grown men don't get like, they don't know how to control their emotions. You know, when you grow into adults and you're a grown man. And from a kid, nobody ho told you how to regulate emotions or anything. So when anybody does something to you in public as a grown man, you're ready to crash out. He's not wrong. <laughs> Once a guy, Charlie, be, he, look, he cooking a little bit. The two police officers walked past and they recognized me. I said, hi, guys, any drama? They said, no, not in here. I said, yes, there is. It's the theater. And how we laughed at my rib tickling joke. <laughs> so, uh... An acquaintance has just told me that in St. Peter's Square, where we're walking towards now, there is a peace march against anti-Semitism taking place, allegedly, probably organized by the Jewish community. But I just want to say, I love your flea, sir. You are enough. You, no matter what Barbie says. <laughs> I see no organized protest. Although there's a few police around. Who knows? Well, unfortunately, my source for this alleged Ooh, old school Rolls Royce peace march against anti-semitism was uh, not a good source and happier news some wedding people town hall on the side of the central library looks good in the sun no I mean you know as a as an ex person who used to be outside like police presence Police presence, I know I've been seeing it like they be standing in random places. Like sometimes they do literally be doing nothing, just look trying to look busy, but like it will like stop something. Like if you trying to do something and you see the police that you'd be like, Oh no, never not right here. Nah, never mind. Let's do it somewhere. Like You know what I'm saying? It'll steer negativity away sometimes. So I'm noticing a lot more police on the streets, just past two more officers to my left behind. And I think, oh, here's the lady that got mad at me. I come with a message of peace to this nation. Crazy lady. Very crazy. Especially if there's, like, a bunch of people around, like, snatching purses and snatching phones. Like, you see a police officer, you might think twice. You anyway. Know? Um, where was I? Yeah, in Parliament yesterday, they were debating, has Islamism taken over Britain? And are they forcing Parliament to be intimidated? Now, uh, Colonel Richard Kemp did a story yesterday, and if I may paraphrase, he's basically saying, clench your anuses and watch your backs because another big one, a uh, horror spectacular from our uh, horrifically ideologue friends, is coming soon. More police down there. Cool man. 
So uh, I recommend rose tinted lenses for all my viewers. Uh, the world looks nicer with them on. I'm gonna put them on now. Oh, look at that, all the crackheads look like fucking decent people. <laughs> So it really has no filter. Armed police. But why? Why? Why can't it be done? Why? Rear entrance of the AO Arena, which is, um, what is it? Manchester Arena, where Ariana Grande's fans got to. Anyway, viewers love a rear entrance. Here we go, <laughs> Volvo! <laughs> yeah. Look at that. Oh, he wants to go that way instead. Well, there you go. Nice. Nice coming Manchester nice. Cathedral. If you like cathedrals, go to... Uh, there's a stark contrast in, like, new buildings and old buildings. It reminds me, like, as soon as you go downtown Chicago and you get off Lakeshore Drive, like, there's, like, into the downtown area, there's, like, a church that looks like this. And then you see a bunch of high-rises around it. To Santiago de Compostela in uh, northern uh, Spain. You'll have a great time. But uh, armed police, unarmed police, it's all, it's all happening today. Good police presence. Okay. This is awesome. In a way, you have to respect the man that gave the loudest not allowed to the entirety of the British Empire. <laughs> Crutch is back guys. Come on focus. There you go. Turbo. Uh, he's uh he's not doing so well mentally and uh, he's uh, getting a bit close to people. Hey Maddie! Why do birds suddenly appear? Every I've never seen Manchester with this many police, ever. Yeah, like, is there something going on in the city? I mean, there's a lot of, maybe, like, there's a lot of people. This is eight months ago this was filmed? What month is this? 11? So, this is, like, in March? And it's just a random Friday. It's Friday evening. Friday afternoons. <laughs> No, this officer got it. <laughs> got it. You know what I mean? Top level. When you get yourself in position for a drive by or a walk by and it all goes Pete Tong. Hey guys, just so you know, this preacher lady's crazy, but you didn't hear that from me. Have you, have you, have you had oh. chats with her on his No. No, there was another guy walked past. I'll tell you what I know. Someone walked past with a backpack and he said, Charlie, have you seen the Christian lady? I said, no. But she shouted at me before and then he says another YouTuber was filming her about 10 minutes ago. But um, she, she doesn't like me, this lady. No, right, okay. <laughs> she, um, anyway. Yeah, all right. This is great camera work, Charlie. Whether you did this on purpose or not, you are doing a. You are doing. But no, not not interactive with her today. Yeah. No, not today. Are you guys doing the kind of just peace and order operation? Pretty much. Yeah. This is a Manchester lady got. Well, yeah, you know, it's hard to have, isn't it? So it's just yeah. Greater Manchester, yeah. The kids start gathering. And it's Friday night. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Nice one, exactly. Cool, man. All the best. Yeah, Cheers. So, uh, regular viewers, the lady who's pointing at me, um, she was doing some weird uh, Christian thing and uh, said some very sinful things towards me. And I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. I wonder if she's inventing lies about me for the Hussifers. That's blasphemy, that is. Jesus Christ says, respect your GMP officer. <laughs> yeah, 
in public at a certain like uh, at a certain point like you got to expect people to like chastise you or whatever message you were trying to put out there people are going to they can argue it or they can just be you know complete like negative about it like it's <laughs> I don't feel like him saying anything to you was no louder than you speaking into that mic. Hello, how are you? I'm always all right. Oh, here we go. I ain't doing anything wrong. I don't know. I don't know. You're looking guilty, though. You are, you are looking a bit guilty. I just stepped in the puddle. I don't know, that's a guilty looking leg. <laughs> oh, I hate it when that happens. Oh, the lady's calling the policeman useless. Here we go. By this man. She's, he's been stalking me, not just today, but other days. He shouted abuse in my face. It's all on video. You can check out my YouTube channel. He shouted abuse in my face. He posted me on YouTube channel and mocks me. I'm telling you, I just told you what's happening, haven't they? Well, judge not lest ye be judged, my Christian sister. The Lord says she's not judging, she's being factual. I don't know, you seem a bit full of hate for a Christian. Sister, you're not brother. You're you not might be what they call a false uh, preacher. A false preacher. That's what you are. The Lord says stop stalking my servant. Yeah, free speech after all, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> for many of you are victims of stalkers, like my servant is of this man, and the police don't do anything. The police will make friends with her and then walk on and leave. No, what it is, madam, the police don't want to act because you're trying to get me locked up for my free speech calling you out. That's what it is. This is a view on a motorcycle drive by the cigarette no. ash flies in your eyes and you don't mind. BMW R1200 RTs. Super bright. Look at that. Hey, man, all good. Me. Oh god, she's still following me. <laughs> oh my god! She's saying this man's. I don't know the history of what's going on here. Maybe like, yeah, I got into an altercation before. A lot of people like, I don't know, man. The law permits him to freedom of speech, freedom of press. I mean, not, like he can walk and film wherever he wants in the public. And people have a right to come up to him and say something to him if they want to, disagree with him, do what they want to, just like they have the same right to come to you who are preaching what you're preaching in a public place. You should, you should, you know, you should be acceptant of people coming up to you and disagreeing or agreeing with what you're saying, you know. She's still trying to get me stitched up, look. Yeah, she's a... Uh... Anyway. Yeah, just go separate ways, it's simple. Sorry? Oh, I do a YouTube channel and um, she mistook me for another YouTuber. She had an altercation up there, but it wasn't me. But, um, I'd love to. Do you mind? You don't mind? Thank you. Cool. Look at this, guys. Um, let's get what's that in my pocket. Oh, got my aviators on. Got to do this like Top Gun. Here we go. I'm very good. Thank you. All right, here we go. Here we go. Right. Right. Let's get. Oh, wait. I'm swing your leg over. Oh, there we go. There you go. You're tall enough to step over. All right. Thank you, thank you. Cheers. Pre press it forwards. Yeah, yeah, forwards. That's it. Oh, wow, look at that, guys. Wait. I love it. Look at that. Oi, flashy, flashy. Oh, thank you. It's, it should be already recording. If there's a, bot, a red ball in the bottom left corner. Don't drop it, Michael. I'm not. Very expensive. 
Alright, um... Oh my, it's got air conditioning and the radio, look! <laughs> Thank you very That's much. That's crazy. <laughs> I would never. That's brilliant, I really appreciate that. Yeah. Thank you, mate. Uh, oh, perfect. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, mate. Oh! Thank you, sorry. Cheers, mate. Always get on and off the bike on the side that the kickstand is on. Uh, thank you. Thank you. You too. Oh, here we go. You got it all. Thank you. Look at these friendly officers. Look what they've started now. Everyone's having fun. It's cool if you're here, like on some tourist stuff and you ain't never been on no, you know what I'm saying? Flashy, flashy lights. Yes. You're wearing that for a bet, aren't you? You're wearing that for a bet. <laughs> oh, the I knew he wasn't wearing it normally. <laughs> Alright, we're on the crutchy watch, guys. Center screen with the blue shoes. Crutchy watch. Where, where, where? He's oh. uh, on one. He is uh, psychologically compromised, shall we say. And he's got a can of Stella Hello. Artois, Belgium's most famous export after uh, Dutru. <laughs> Older viewers will know exactly what I mean by the d d true affair. Anyway, back to Crutch. Where is he? Center screen. So uh, he came up to me earlier, yesterday actually. I tried to avoid him, but he saw me trying to avoid him. He got very upset and he was right up in my face like, oh, have you got money for me? Have you got money for me? Blah, 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 blah. You need to film me. You need to film me. I'm like, no, sorry, Crutchy. I call him Tony by his real name, but... Uh, I don't know, man. Characters like him are uh, volatile, potentially very dangerous. Sorry, man. Sorry. Sorry, guys. I've had Layla and the male guys on my channel before. Wonderful singers. With all due respect, they look like Charlie just chilling. I mean, not Charlie. Uh, Tur Turbo just chilling right now. Here's my friend Expensive Black, center screen, and Crutchy's, <laughs> he's on one. Oh god. Is that EB? Oh, it's Lara! What a pleasant surprise, look who it is, look who it is, center screen. Be careful, he's uh... Careful. There he goes again. Getting all sorts of reports today. There was a Jewish march against anti-Semitism that hasn't materialized. Two viewers, very kind, they said that Prince Edward, I think, you know that guy, you know, he was in the Navy. Uh, he was in the Navy and he felt a new man every day. And uh, did he marry Sophie? He's like everyone's least favorite royal. Anyway, he's in the Royal Exchange Theatre apparently. But I don't think that's true. There's not nearly enough police around here. I mean, I do see the V's. The vehicles are fitting. There is a lovely Bentley. We'll film the Bentley. Bentley flying spur and a range. We'll see what Bentley boy's got to say. It is Charlie Beach. Hello, madam. How are you doing? You know what, as far as cars go, that is a good looking car. Only two seats in the rear though. And what's this, private security? Yes. Oh, the glass is looking thick in that Range Rover. Check this out, guys. <laughs> Bentley. Hybrid. So yeah, I just had confirmation, it is Prince Eddie. Got no security, you can just walk up on him. Let's see what happens with the cops here when, I, <laughs> when we arrive. Where's my favorite prince at? Eddie, where's Eddie? Oh, well, fair enough, no worries. <laughs> Eddie is the drama in the theater today. Kowalski, enhance, zoom in. There's police in the theater. There's a uh, private, someone there, probably ex-special forces. There's uh, 
Another special forces secret bodyguard close protection oh, people right here. here. Okay, now he do got him on him. And if that wasn't enough, you've got some armed police over here. Oh, okay. Never mind. He got him on. He got enough security. So, uh, there's probably a couple with him. Eddie is well protected. He is a rot. Is the he's the queen's son for God's sake. He's the king's brother. Ah, Vorsprung durch Technik, Deutschland über alles, the 5 liter V8 Audi A8. I'm sure it's been modified for extra torque and horsepower. When you're robbing a bank or you're bringing an injured prince away from a dangerous scene, you want a four wheel drive, powerful German car. And it's funnily enough, it was the Pink Panther gang, the uh, diamond thieves, used the Audi A8s to try and steal those uh, diamonds in Dubai from the shopping mall. They almost got away with it. Almost. He's got the whole world in his hands. How are you? Good to see you, my friend. God bless you, man. How are you? Yeah, you're still preaching these days. Of course. but seems like he knows everybody out here. But I don't Good man. Do much now because I do a lot of traveling. I can imagine. Yeah. Family, everybody okay? Everyone's very well. How about you? Family doing good? Doing better than good. Good to hear. You always cheer me up every time I see you. God bless you, brother. Thank you, man. All the best. Okay, sister. See ya. Bye bye. Yeah. See ya. What a nice guy. As I keep saying on my channel, um, there's few things more cheerful and pleasant than a African follower of Jesus Christ. I think it's gorgeous. In his hands, he's got the whole world. In his hands, he's got the whole world. In his hands, I ain't gonna lie, Manchester got loads of characters in it. This is like, he's got the whole world in his hands. Thank you, brother. All the best. Just a happy guy. You too. Crutchy's trying to fight someone. He's throwing a mobile phone. Check this out. Crutchy's just thrown this. Where is he? A nice phone too. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a, one of the... Oh, he's across the road. I think there's been a fight here. Are you okay? Be careful with that guy. He's a horrible, dangerous man. Are you okay? my phone. Was it? Did they? I've got my daughter's picture in the Do you know who it was? Was it the, the was it no, Crutchy? No, no. Yeah. I'm sorry man. Sorry man. Yeah. All your daughter's pictures on it. Mm, you can still go get that. Hey man, hey man, no, whoa, whoa, whoa. don't come too close mate, no. no mate, don't come too close, no, no, Crutchy, don't, Crutchy, no, I've warned you, No, whoa, whoa, whoa. don't come too close, mate. No. no, mate, don't come too close. No, no, Crutchy, don't. Crutchy. No. I've warned you. There's two sides. There's two sides of this, right? Charlie did give him a warning. He did give him a warning. He had just got into it with this guy on the ground. He doesn't know what your temperature is. All he knows is what he sees. And to him, you're on that right now. You just got into a fight with him. You see me now. You, I don't know what the, what are you, what are your intentions with me? You just back up a little bit. Didn't back up. Came back closer. All right. Now let me back you up. Now the other side of the coin is. Damn, Charlie, why, why you had to get on that with him? Like, give him a little moment. Or give him the, golly, that was quick. He wasn't even, he was innocent. He was just trying to talk to you. But, you know, in the heat of the moment. Jesus Christ. Uh, Charlie, 
Charlie. Big respect. No, I told you before. Listen, Charlie, big respect to you. No, thank big you, man. Respect. He's a dangerous guy. I warned you, mate. No, don't come too close to me, mate. I've told you before. No, no, don't come. I'll hit you again. Don't do it. Don't come close. Don't come too close. I'm not getting shot, but... Crutchy, don't. Crutchy, don't, mate. I can understand, though, why Turbo will hate him from now on, though. Because, like I said, there could have been two sides to the spectrum, but, like, you know, all Charlie see is what he see. He see, bro, on the ground, you just got into it with him. He don't know if you coming with animosity or not, but, uh, like, on the other side of the coin, like, you could have just been trying to chill or do something, not, but, but you know, you got to read the room. I think Charlie wrote, read the room and made a decision. <laughs> Whoa! He was about to use her as a human shield? Yeah, I'm good. Thank you. Thank you very much. Anyway. Crazy. That's crazy. The fact that more happened. Welcome back. That's insane. TLO back. Welcome comment, back. Subscribe, turn on your post notifications. I know y'all have seen this eight months ago, but like that's, it's two sides to that coin. But me personally, if I was in Charlie's shoes in that situation, I would have acted, reacted the same way. 100%. In that specific instant. 